Hello, my little gravy boats! So, we're gonna be playing Better Minecraft today. I can't remember what episode this is. Four, maybe? <laughs> but yeah, I've been pretty busy, so let's get into the episode so I can show you what I've been doing and what we plan on doing for today. Let's go! Okay, so this is what I've been up to. I've got, I think, basically all of the house, the outside part, built. There's some things I think I might want to change just because it's looking, I don't know, a bit iffy at the moment. But yeah, um, there's some things that I want to do, I think, on this. Whoa! <laughs> there's some things that I want to do, I think, on this side mainly. Uh, like maybe bring out a balcony here for our top floor and a little something in this area up here just so it's not all just one block but yeah other than fixing up our house a little bit i'm thinking that i want to do some mining seeing as how we've only got iron stuff we haven't found diamonds yet on this world so i'm thinking we're a bit past due for a mining trip so we're gonna go ahead and go down into our mine and I forgot that we found one of these. We've got a little amethyst cluster on the outside here. So yeah, I forgot that I, uh, forgot we found one of these. I also don't have a pickaxe. I'm going to need to find that. Main goal today is to try and find some diamonds. I want to get possibly an enchanting table set up and ready to go so that we can start enchanting our stuff. I basically just want to get more of our basic necessities together, resources, things like that. I harvested all of our crops that were over there and got this. I've also got a bunch of saplings. I don't know... I assume you can make different things with, like, these separate, because there's lettuce and stuff like that. I don't think you're meant to just eat it, like, by itself. So I want to look into more foodstuffs and whatnot so we're not just eating bread all the time, because it's not the greatest food source. All right, I made, like, five picks. We're only going to take these three with us, though. We'll come back up later. I think I'm going to need some blocks as well, because this kind of just goes down like that. <laughs> I'm so unprepared. I also think that we need to get some wooden stairs or some kind of stair blocks here so that we can get up easier. Because jumping up and down on those... Oh, gosh. All right, I need some just random blocks. Let's take a couple stacks of cobble, and now we can go mining. <laughs> I lied, I need torches. It's like I've never played this game before. What is happening? Okay, for realsies this time, now we can go mining. <laughs> Ooh, this is a really cool area, actually. Abandoned mine shaft in the dripstone caves. This looks really cool. And it's really interesting that it, like, it actually echoes... Now I'm thinking we're going to have to maybe go back down this way, possibly. Just make like a little swoopty swoopy. We're going to go ahead and light it up a little bit though first, I think. That way we're not getting ambushed by creepy things. Like you, creepy thing. Yeah! Come on in. There we go. I guess we can go ahead and explore this mine shaft as well since we're here. Ooh, a chest! Oh, it's a minecart with TNT. Can, can I do this? Oh, I can. Okay, good. Woo! Creepers be creeping. Oh my god, that thing scared me. I don't know why. I thought it was a ghast. That was weird. Because <laughs> it's obviously not. Oh, goodness sake. Thank you for helping me get up here anyway. That was nice. I don't have any food. Yet again, another trip up. We better not do anything to get hurt because we gonna die. Okay guys, so I've started mining. I got this nice tunnel going here, but I walked right past these diamonds. I didn't even see them. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and collect those now and see how many we got. All right, so we got six diamonds. That's not bad at all. I also, in the midst of, of the tunnel mining, we've got some lapis, these rubies, which I still have no idea what they do. And we've got some redstone, which will be useful for later on when we do some automatic farms and stuff. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do my strip mining and see if we can find any other diamonds. Okay, so I mined through some of this and came out to this. I don't know what that is up there. We're gonna go find out. Maybe if I know how to make a proper staircase. What are amber? Ooh. Okay, well I don't know what this stuff does. It It's like a light source, so that's kind of cool. I will say though, like the ambient noises in this, kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. But this looks pretty cool. I think this is all, yeah, this is all the shale and there's some ash like on the top here. I don't know if you can do anything with it, but I am going to collect a little bit just in case we need it for anything like that. There's ash blocks. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, there's mobs galore up in here. All right. We've also got this, which it looks like it's probably like an abandoned mine shaft, possibly. I think we should check that out if we can get around all of these mobs. I don't have a bow or anything yet. Oh, goodness sake quite scurry. Yeah, so this is like an abandoned mine shaft, which is really cool. Uh, we're gonna pillar up. This looks really cool. I do see, yeah, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is, this is bad. Okay, um, heck off. Thank you. Oh, for goodness sake. Ooh, I will take your spruce wood and stuff. Thank you. I'm running. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Let's light all these up though, shall we? Are there any more? Here's one. Oh, we're out of torches. Um, okay. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Where did those go? Um, to, to, not my taters. Torches! Okay, I think we've got all these spawners lit up that I can see so far anyway. Oh, goodness sake. Oh. Danger. Danger. Danger! Oh, we're gonna die. Um, yep. Dead. D-E-D. -E you know what, I think before we go down, I'm gonna see if I have the stuff to make a bow and some arrows. Should've slept. I should've slept. Again, you would think that I'm a noob. I am not that much. All right, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to pause right here and just camp out for the night because good gravy goodness. Um, I mean, it gives me the opportunity to show you what we got going on on the inside for now. Nothing. <laughs> there is nothing happening in here for now. This I was thinking of making an interesting archway. I mean, we're going to have a ceiling here for this level and then the second floor as well but this will be an archway of sorts on the top and then we'll probably have a smaller one for the bottom floor as for layout for rooms i'm not quite sure what i want to do just yet apologies was recording that clip and realized i still had my fan on <laughs> but we're gonna have some kind of enchanting station in here somewhere i'd assume obviously a bedroom I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that top section up there. Maybe use it as secondary storage because I do plan on having an actual storage room area, <laughs> as you do. Uh, but other than that, I haven't really thought about it too, too much. I mean, this is a decent sized house, so there's plenty of opportunities. Also, these look like they have some cracks in them. I can't remember if... It looked that way when I placed it, or maybe it does that over time. That's really interesting. Some of them up there are doing it as well. I don't know if that's some kind of, like, over time kind of thing. I guess we'll find out, huh? Okay, so I've emptied out my crap. We got 15 diamonds total, which isn't too bad. I think what we're going to do with them is make up some tools. I think we're, well, you need sticks first. Where is my brain today? And then we are gonna save these other six just in case we need them for something. And these I think we're gonna save for now because the main goal that I think I wanna try to aim for in this video is getting an enchantment table and such set up. 
so that we can get some good enchants or at least basic ones if not better <laughs> on those tools so that we're able to get more things they'll, they'll last longer you know how enchanted tools work um the other thing that i want to try to do is get a more sustainable food source going besides what we've got growing over there so breeding up these sheep some more probably finding some cows getting those together because we're going to need leather for books um i'm probably going to see if i can find those underground villages again and steal all of their books because i i think i did didn't i didn't i steal books i swear to goodness i did there's two there. Yes. Oh, yes. So this is going to be a lot easier than anticipated. Oh, heck yeah. Look at all them books. Books for days. Well, good thing we made this diamond pick because I got to go get some obsidian real quick and then we can get our enchantment table set up. Okay, guys, we got our enchantment table set up. This is different. This is very interesting. Okay. So the other thing that we have to worry about is getting levels, of course. I'm hoping... Ooh, you know what we could do? We could take one of those spawners down there and turn it into some kind of XP farm? That might be a bit difficult. We might have to be a little bit more prepared for that, but we could totally do that. I think a skeleton one would be best because then we could get bones for bone meal and that's super useful. So yeah, I think we'll do that at some point. But I'm happy we have that set up and ready to go finally. I'm gonna go ahead and just shove that in there and these obsidian as well. I went and I got a good bit of obsidian because we're gonna be needing to make another portal here pretty soon. I'm not quite sure where we wanna put it. I think our next step needs to be working on the house because we gotta get this thing together so that we can start moving stuff in here and seeing where all we wanna put our stuff. We could even maybe, instead of having a separate storage place, we could just have storage in here, honestly. This whole section here we could make storage. And then in this section we could have like a kitchen or something and then like a dining room area and then just a big, I don't know, like living room kind of thing. And then over here we could have our big storage area. That might be cool. And then the whole top floor we can use for... I don't even know. <laughs> we'll have our bedroom upstairs, I'm sure. And then as for anything else, I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm thinking because of the way that this is, we're going to jazz it up a bit, of course, but because of this fancy archway that we're going to have up here, and the way that this roof is kind of, I don't want to say fancy necessarily, but <laughs> I think we'll make this section here where we have our bedroom. I think it might be really cool to have that kind of the roof shape there. And then have our bedroom in there. It might be really cool. So I think I'm going to try to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of stuff I want to use for the floor. Seeing that we've got oak and stone bricks. We've got some spruce as well. We might want to stick with spruce, I think, for the floor. It'll tie everything in together pretty well, I think. Oh, Jesus, Lord. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ooh, you think I'd be used to that by now? Seeing as it's happened how many times so far this series. Wow, okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. Ooh, bro, you got in my way. How did I get on the horse? How'd I get on the horse? Are you kidding me? There's another one? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! This is ridiculous. Hawaii! Hawaii! <laughs> now you're dead. You're gonna be next, friend. I'm out of arrows! Alright, I spam torches everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. That is bizarre. Alright, well after all that excitement, we're gonna go ahead and plant some more spruce trees, I think. Because I don't think we've got too, too many spruce wood logs anything like that left from doing the roof so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and plant some of these spruce trees so we can get a bunch as for the ceiling i'm not sure if i want to do spruce or do oak i might just do oak yeah i'll probably do oak for the ceiling because then the 
floor of the second of the second floor <laughs> is going to be the spruce, but because we've got this gap here. Oh no 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 why? More spammy spam because I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Now I'ma tell you what. Number one, this blood moon thing, creepy. Turns everything red. Even the moon is red, which I will show you here in a second as soon as it comes up enough. But look at this. Look at this. Again. What is it with my house and these stupid things? Stupid. Why? I replaced my door because I saw that the blood moon was rising, so I thought, hey, can't sleep through the blood moon, so I might as well get my floor done, and then, psh, nah, they said, nah, he just despawned. Oh, oh goodness sake. That's good. Well, we can wait for them to despawn, but I'm stuck out here with all the other scary things that I don't wish to be stuck with. That's weird. I think the horse despawned before he did. And now it it looks very weird. There he goes. All right. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> There's another. Now I think I'm going to try to get the floor done. Ooh, go away. Yeah, I have no choice but to stay in here at this point. <laughs> so we're going to try to make it productive and hopefully none of those things spawn again. So I I, I uh, Yeah, that. Mhm. Mm Y'all I cannot. They're still in there. They're still coming. They're still happening. Why? Oh, hello. I don't understand why this is happening so much. Oh, hi. That was smooth. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I think I've had enough of this for one day. Um, I think I'm gonna call it. Yeah. I'm gonna call it there. I might try to do some research into why they keep spawning in there. Because there's torches absolutely everywhere. I don't know how there's a skeleton happening. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please demolish the like button gently. And if you want, you can become a little gravy boat and subscribe. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bruh. <laughs>